Hi, my name is Amanda. I am a coach and a trans channel. And what you are about to see is an excerpt from my most recent expansion experience. The expansion experience is a monthly ritual event where I invite forward one of the archangels or ascended masters to bring forward a message for the group. And then after that, each person in attendance gets to come forward and be coached one at a time by whoever I'm channeling that day. And they're receiving one-on-one -on -one guidance and support on whatever it is that they're struggling with or feeling challenged by in their life at that time. This past month, Osiris came forward and he delivered a message on human consciousness and the ego self and what kind of role the ego self serves in our lifetime during this human experience and how to work with it rather than be at odds with it. It was a really fascinating conversation and I'm really looking forward to hearing your feedback on it. If you're interested in attending one of my future expansion experiences, please visit my website amandalaurenblau.com and you can submit your email address to be added onto a list so you can stay updated on every future expansion experience, who I'm going to be channeling that day and what the theme is going to be. And I'm looking forward to seeing you there. Hello to both of you. I am so glad to be here with you today. I'm very excited about the conversations that we are about to have together. I understand that my presence today might be unprecedented and you're wondering, well, why you? Why is Osiris speaking to us about human consciousness and the expansion of the human mind and the journey through life on this planet? And the reason why I decided to speak on this today is because one, I believe that I have a lot to offer. And two, I have been through it before. I have experience on both sides of the earth plane, one in a physical body and one without. And I believe that my experience in both realms will be of use to you today. And I have accumulated a lot of my own wisdom in my time on both sides of the aisle. And I desire to share them with you is I had an inkling that both of you would be in service to what I am about to say today, and I'm looking forward to sharing it with you. Part of the reason that you came here in this lifetime was to explore yourself to a deeper extent than you can otherwise. Part of the reason in having a physical experience on this planet is to be able to do just that, is to have thoughts and experience them through a physical means. And this is not something that is available to you on the other side. On the other side, when you think a thought, it is just that, it is a thought. There is no physicality involved. There is no experience of that thought. And there is something lacking in that experience that those of you on this planet don't fully comprehend because you are so caught up in the experience of it all and how much you would desire not to have it, that sometimes you do not give credit to the, in, in ex, the experience that you are having and how incredible it really is. The experience to be able to physically move through how you are feeling in one given moment is a gift. It's a gift that you have given yourself because there's nowhere else that you can experience that other than here. And part of coming here requires a level of separation from the grander being that you are. You break off from your full self and you come down to earth to experience a reality that only a part of you can fully understand. And in doing that, your consciousness needs to separate from itself. A part of you is separated and it comes down to experience a version of you moving through this life. And this version of you only has an awareness of this version of you and not the fuller aspect of who you really are. And this creates a separation of self and on a very unconscious level, that is what a lot of you are feeling, this discomfort of separation. And it is not necessarily the separation of the whole, the whole of the universe, the whole of the uni 
unity of consciousness is a separation of self, you see. Your own consciousness is sensing that there is a part of you that is feeling alone. And that is what you are carrying with you throughout this lifetime. It is a, a deeper knowing that there is something more. And I believe that this, this desire to experience more permeates a lot of the, the awareness that a lot of you hold inside of you. And this is what this, this desire to continuously search where can I find it? Where can I feel fulfilled? Where can I feel something more? This is unconsciously what is taking place for you. It is the knowing that there is something more. But it is the human mind that is under the interpretation that is going to be found through doing something different. And that is where the misunderstanding is really coming from, my loves. That if I just find the thing that will allow me to feel whole, that I will finally feel the wholeness that I'm searching for. And unfortunately, that is not how it works. And that is a part of coming here and exploring this for yourself. And that is something that you knew full well before you decided to embark upon this journey. But it is often forgotten as you embark upon the journey. And it is up to you to remember once more that this feeling of separation may be there throughout your experience here. It does not have to be there, but it may. And for you to understand where it's coming from, I believe, will allow you to show yourself more compassion when you begin to feel this way. A reminder of why you do and what you're really searching for, which is a sense of self. The self that is not part of this experience but the self that is watching over you as you embark upon it. And part of what is desired of you in this experience is an ability to witness yourself in it. And what I mean by that is there are several aspects to who you are as you are moving through this, this earth life. There is the aspect of you that is fully in, encompassed in it, the aspect of you that is observing you moving through it. And each of these aspects of you is firmly planted in this reality. But sometimes it is difficult to differentiate between the two. The version of you that moves through this life fully in embracing it for what it is. And the version of you that is witnessing you do just that. And it's almost as if you are experiencing a duality inside of you as you move through the, the human experience. There is the part of your conscious awareness that is not fully conscious, that it is conscious. And then there is the other part of your conscious awareness that is observing this separation of self. And what I'm referring to right now is what we often refer to as the ego self. The part of your mind that desires to keep itself safe and protected from what it perceives to be dangerous to its well-being and preservation. And the reason why you are having this experience is because you are feeling this separation from your fullness. And it is part of the evolution of the mind that it must protect itself when it is feeling threatened, when it is feeling insecure. And this is simply a part of the human experience because this is part of your biology. But this is not all of who you are and what you are aware of. There is another part of your consciousness that is not this. It is fully aware that you are experiencing an illusion and that the threat that you are perceiving is not in the actuality of what is. And this is what I would like to take a few moments and speak into in this, in this moment in time, is this, this perception that everything outside of you is there to be a test for you. And this is not the case. You create your reality, my loves. And this is, I believe, still not well understood by those who walk this planet. 
you vibrate an energy from you. You are an energetic being at your core. And this energy is constantly permeating out from, from within you. And it is this energy that dictates, one, your reality, because it is the energy that allows you to think and feel the way you do. And two, it is this energy that can be transferred into the things that you take part in, the activities that you find yourself embracing and embarking in that is utilized to create what you desire. It is multifaceted in this way. But it comes back to you, the things that you focus on and the experiences that you are feeling inside of you. This is your energetic frequency that is that is the human aspect of this experience. What you are thinking and what you are believing and the energy of those thoughts and belief systems, which helps determine your reality because it draws towards you a match. But this is not the reality of who you really are. Who you really are is so much more than your thoughts and belief systems. It is so much more than what you think and feel. And this is part of the duality that I speak. There are your thoughts. There is your emotional experience, which is one aspect of who you are and one aspect of your energetic frequency. But there is another There's the part of your consciousness that observes this. It is just sitting and observing. All that is, all that you experience, all that you think, all that you see, all that you feel, it's just watching, impartial to it all. And this version of you is the truth of who you are, the part of you that witnesses you in struggle, the part of you that witnesses you in embracing or rejecting your human experience. And it is this part of you that vibrates with your truth, the reality of who and what you are. And this is a very different frequency than the one that you are sensing and putting out into the world. And the job of a conscious human, a conscious soul walking this earth, is to learn to distinguish the two. Which part of you is the illusion of reality and which one is not? Which thoughts and belief systems are not really who and what I am, but they are simply the ones that I am choosing to think and feel and buy into in this moment And these thoughts and belief systems that cross through my mind over and over and over again have their own vibrancy about them and are perhaps distorting the frequency of that which what I am and causing me to attract into my life things that are not fully resonant for me, but that are resonant with this aspect of my consciousness. I understand that this is a very high level conversation, but I know that both of you can handle this. And that is why I decided to speak on this at this time. The ego is the part of your consciousness that embraces the illusion of this experience. I can't do that. I'm scared of that. That's not going to work out well for me. What are people going to say about this? What if this doesn't go the way I planned it? All of those thoughts have their own vibration and carry their own energy behind them. And that is what is created in the physical. And then there is the truth of who you are, the part of your consciousness that witnesses these thoughts moving through you and watches as you interact with them. And this is not the part of your ego experience. This is the part of you that is a bigger part of the whole that is here to simply observe, observe you in your human experience.
And so it is the job of the conscious human to one, recognize this duality inside of them and begin to observe their thoughts and belief systems and the way they interact with their world and shift it consciously in a way that resonates deeply, deeply in order to create a reality that is more in alignment with their true vibration. The thing that really calls to them and ignore the human part of themselves that says, I can't. Because it is a part of you that is a part of the whole that knows better. And it is this part of you that must learn to bypass the biology that is telling you that you can't in order to remember that you are not your biology. The biology is simply part of this experience that you signed up for, but it is not who you are. It is simply the way in which you are experiencing this version of who you are in this lifetime. It is the lens through which you have chosen to ground into this experience until you are ready to see through it. And when you can begin to do that and have a conscious awareness of the separation between who you are and the body that you are inhabiting, you can begin to see that you have a lot more control than you thought you did because it is only the human mind that is telling you otherwise. And the way through this, my loves, is to ignore it. Witness it and ignore it. And when you can begin to do that, the fear, the self-doubt, the shame that your human part feels, you begin to realize is not really who and what you are. It is simply an experience that a part of you is feeling in that moment. And when you can see that separation inside of you between this human part of you that is feeling and having this experience, you can begin to see the illusion of it. It is simply the human part of you that is choosing to have this experience at this time. But there is so much more to you than that. And this other part of you can allow the human part to have this experience and not be pulled into it. And instead, embrace another a different thought, a different reality, a different desire, and a different experience. 